Hi, Ryan Lestrange here with today's Monday Word. And my Monday Word is, where are the Samuels? I believe the Lord is raising up a prophetic generation of Samuels. Samuel is a fascinating character in Bible history. We see in 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were infrequent. So Samuel was born at a time when there was a lack of prophetic revelation. There was an absence. There was a vacancy. There was a void of authentic prophetic anointing and prophetic revelation. And God brought Samuel on the scene. And Samuel raised up the schools of the prophets. And Samuel began to mantle a generation. And Samuel was a shifter. I'm hearing in my spirit that the Lord is raising up a generation of Samuels. The Lord is raising up a prophetic generation of shifters. You are not called to comply with the atmosphere. You're called to shift it. You are not called to adjust to the spiritual thermometer. You're called to shift it. You're not called to uh, just be subdued by culture. You're called to shift it. I believe there's a prophetic deposit of the forerunner being placed upon this Samuel generation that is around. It was Samuel that God used to anoint the future king of Israel. And it was Samuel that God spoke to when Saul had disobeyed the, the commandment of the Lord, that he was removing him. It was Samuel that issued a prophetic warning. It was Samuel that mantled a generation. It was Samuel that went to the house of Jesse and anointed David. In fact, Samuel anointed what Jesse was overlooking. I believe that God is saying in this hour, where are the Samuels? He's raising people up, uncommon prophetic people with an uncommon ability to shift a generation. I believe the Lord is raising up the shifters in this hour. Many of you are feeling the tension between where you are and where God is taking you. I say, Lord, raise up the Samuels. When Samuel went to the home of Jesse and they paraded one son after another by Samuel and the spirit of the Lord said, this is not him. Samuel was able able to hear what others were not hearing. I believe there's a prophetic generation arising, Samuels, that are going to hear what others are not hearing, that are going to give voice to the very intent, the very thoughts, and the very heartbeat of the Lord. It may look like where you live. It may look like what you're connected to, that the word of the Lord is rare, that visions, that dreams, that prophetic utterance is infrequent, but God may be meant to you as a Samuel to begin to equip and anoint this generation. Samuel found David and said, this is the one that the Lord has anointed. I'm going to talk more about this in future videos, but I want to give you this thought. Samuel poured oil on what others overlooked. I believe there's a Samuel generation. I feel the Holy Spirit on this. There's a Samuel generation that the Lord is raising up to pour oil on what others have overlooked. Many are hearing the call to go after the millennial generation. Many are hearing the call to go after the forgotten ones. Many are being called to regions and even nations where there's been an absence in the spirit realm and you're being called to step up and occupy that post. I say, Lord, raise up the Samuels. I say, Lord, raise up the shifters. After the ministry of Samuel, Israel was shifted. Now there was an abundance of prophetic function. There was an abundance of prophetic flow. I believe God's raising up a Samuel generation that won't just prophesy but will mantle the prophets that will release a prophetic anointing upon the body that will anoint what others have overlooked that will confront what others have run from and that will bring a great shifting into the land and the enemy's fighting the Samuels but the Lord is bringing you forth for such a time as this and the Lord would say Samuel it is time to arise the Lord would say Samuel I have surely anointed you and appointed you for this time and I break right now the warfare and the life and the attacks of the enemy. And I say that the Samuels are arising in Jesus' name.